Here's the stairs to the basement. It's full to the top with firewood and mud. Charlene Millward's home just above the town was knocked off its foundations by mounds of mud and debris. Oh, Her shoe. white carpet turned into a brown mess in just hours. Everybody's saying it hasn't really sunk in yet. It's, but I lost my house. So there's not m much I could do. Like, I mean, they're not even going to be able to salvage it. It's hard to believe, but the town's roads look more like rivers after a deluge of rain and marble-sized hail. About 36 millimeters came down last night, most of it within an hour causing flash flooding. Tammy Harkness almost lost her house. Oh, it was just gushing down, and there's some places like, like where that tree is there, the water would come down and go up six feet, just go up, gush, go up, gush. Her cars were buried in mud and debris, but luckily no one was hurt. My daughter yelled, Mom, the garage, the garage, so it come through that way. And I told her, as calmly as I could, it's better to lose the garage than to lose the house. So the course, the course changed and it saved our house. Over at the Cash Creek Motor Inn, volunteers are helping mop up piles of mud. There's basically, I'd say, six inches to a foot of mud in the entire first floor of the building. Yeah, that includes wood debris, hail, anything that came down the river and came down the mountain is literally sitting in the first floor. He says this pool was empty before the rain came down. I mean, this is supposed to be British Columbia's desert climate. <coughs> and it's, yeah, no one's ever seen anything hit this fast. The community of about a thousand people is struggling to deal with the overwhelming damage. Mayor John Ranta has called a state of emergency. Well, we had a significant flooding event yesterday and uh, within the last couple of hours, I signed a uh, state of local emergency. The town's fire hall was also hit hard. Water and debris prevented firefighters from getting out to help faster. When we opened the doors, there was eight inches of mud throughout the whole fire hall. It actually took us probably an hour just to get the trucks out. While cleanup efforts are underway here in Cache Creek, there are concerns more bad weather is on its way. An extensive thunderstorm watch warning has been issued for much of southern BC and the interior. Mira Baines, CBC News, Cache Creek.